In the secret world, organizations are not monoliths. There can be internal divisions, and individuals can often work against the interests of their own organization. Hello, welcome to Answers. Today I'm going to look at the questions raised last Thursday. Can we trust Orochi? Anyone who has played later than Kingsmith might have found that to be a silly question, because the answer is clearly no. No, we cannot. No out of ten. But does that mean we can't trust Anne Radcliffe and Harrison Blake? Well, first we need to know why they're here. There are three main Orochi camps on the island. There's the one at the airport, the one at the bridge, and the one in Blue Mountain. Plus scattered Orochi and Savage Coast. I will deal with the Blue Mountain when I get there, and Savage Coast when I find their corpses. So what are they up to at the bridge? It's actually so obvious that I didn't even think about it until I started recording. They are, quite simply, guarding the bridge. It's a security checkpoint. Either the bridge is a safe way out of the island for some reason, or... Orochi has special means to transport people through the fog over the bridge. And through the air, with so we see the helicopters flying around all the time. The reason why we see this van heading towards the bridge, and this van heading away, is because they were crossing it. The reason why they have Bali signed us there is clear when Anne Radcliffe talks about how she's waiting for the centrifuge to spin up. Centrifuges are most often used in a laboratory setting to separate things, especially blood. At the base in Blue Mountain, we find a sample of blood from H. Bannerman, almost certainly Sheriff Helen Bannerman. As a responsible community leader, she has to have thought of leading her people off the island, and she would have checked with the bridge guards in advance. That's likely where the blood sample comes from. They requested a blood sample... They put some of it in the centrifuge, and when they saw a black film on it, they sent the rest of the blood over to the lab on Blue Mountain to be checked out. It, of course, came back positive for the filth, and thus no one was allowed to leave the island. Even Orochi personnel are likely screened before they can leave, which is what the van with the broken door was doing. It was on its way out of Kingsmith with a rare and exotic sample. Most likely the Wendigo, who leads us on a merry chase through all these bear traps. We can also figure out what the team with the etheric attractor was doing. They were trying to capture drawed samples, which could then be used by the team at the airport. This brings me to what the team at the airport was doing. There are actually two different operations there. One of them is dissecting the drog and exporting other samples. But another is importing geophysical equipment, most likely for excavation. While it is very tempting to say that they're here to excavate the Gaia engine, I am skeptical on that. A Gaia engine is really something that you only need one of. And as we find out later, Orochi already has one. In the Mission Black helicopters, Miss Radcliffe says that the people of Kingsmouth need the satellite line. That may lead you to believe that the airport is cutting off the satellite by using it too much, but that's not how satellite works. On the military computer in Blue Mountain, we find out that the satellite interference is actually coming from the quarry. That would also explain why she has a map of Blue Mountain laid out on the hood of this van. She thinks that the equipment would be better used destroying whatever is in the quarry that is cutting off the satellite feed. After all, Equipment used for excavation could just as easily be used for demolition. Miss Radcliffe believes that would better serve the greater good. And that's what prompts us to find out what are they actually planning to use the equipment for. And I believe what they are planning to use it for is their original purpose in coming to the island. Miss Radcliffe says that they arrived to support the CDC. And from Marion Chen, we find out that her team arrived significantly in advance of the fog. The original purpose of the Orochi outside of the Blue Mountain camp was the Polaris. We can guess that this was Miss Radcliffe's primary concern because of her data pad. 
She carries it at all times, and it shows a map of the Polaris. The excavation slash demolition materials that Orochi is importing are to be used for its destruction. And once she is able to convince us to take care of it, that would free up the materials to take care of whatever is in the quarry. At least ideally. So despite being an Orochi, can Anne Radcliffe, and by extension, Harrison Blake, actually be trusted? Well, to some extent, yes. But mostly no. Consider the one mission I have not discussed yet. Hulk Smash. We overhear her talking about the zombies on Priest Island and go to investigate ourselves. Why is that the only one she doesn't request of us? Because of the mission and what the tide brought in. These canisters litter Priest Island. While it's easy to assume that the canisters were carrying filth, they could have really been carrying anything. What's important is that they belong to Orochi and the tide brought them in. They came from the Polaris. And so when we go on our own to investigate Hulk Smash, we almost inevitably pick up this mission as well. And so, like the dutiful protagonists we are, we bring them back to their owners, at which point Orochi realizes, hey, this person is useful. So despite their friendly demeanor, they are in fact using us. As Miss Radcliffe says, the greater good doesn't always feel so good. She may say it about what's going on at the airport, but she means it about her blatant manipulation of us. Thank you for watching this video. New episodes of Questions are on Thursdays, and new episodes of Answers are on Tuesdays. I A to B is on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's a Let's Play series that's entirely in character, so remember to do the YouTube stuff that everyone tells you to do. We also have a Patreon now, so if you like this, then shoot us a buck or two to show your appreciation. When we hit $20 a month, I'm going to do a special double-length combined episode laying out a timeline for recent events on Solomon Island. And if you did not like this video, then you are weak, your bloodline is weak, and you shall not survive the winter.